Well, he's known for his Love Island quips, his stand-up <laughs> comedy, oh, and yeah. more recently, <laughs> his love of true crime. He's our type on paper. Get it? I wonder how many times he's heard that line before. Anyway, please welcome Ian Sterling. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. Oh. Hello. Yes. Happy New Year, everybody. Yes. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And it's going to be an exciting one for you, isn't it? Because you're going on tour. The I'm relevant on tour. tour. In March, I yes. go on tour my new show, Relevant. Yeah. Which why is relevant? Is why, why the title? Well, before you write the show, you've got to sort of... They, we're talking about promoting the show, mm. and it's all online now. You've got to do these... I was, you've got to send clips in, and I was mm. trying to send stand-up clips, and people went, oh, you can't send a clip that's more than 40 seconds long because people don't pay attention to that. Mm. And what, what's happened to people's attention span? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was, I was just getting so stressed out about posting on the TikTok, and I, on, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm relevant anymore. So then I started writing about that in the show, and I... I feel like I'm in a sort of weird position now in my life where I'm this sort of like, I'm a dad and I'm getting a bit older, but then I'm still watching young people in bikinis <laughs> <laughs> licking each other. <laughs> and I'm this sort of weird in between stage. All I'm right, like can, we, of... can, we, can we just, you know, clear up that, that you're talking about Love Island there, aren't you? Oh, no, you? I wasn't yeah, talking you're... about Love Island. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a hobby. Weekend. You've, got, you've got to have a hobby these days. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about Love Island, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah because you must have really quite a big, quite a big range, range of audience ages, because you also do your Dancing with Laura, don't you, on your TikTok and everything. Oh, I bloody love a dance on TikTok. Yeah, very good at it. I sort of... It, not, I don't. I look like I've oh, won a no, you're good. I look like I look like a person that's won a competition to dance with Laura Whitney. <laughs> you kind of have though, haven't you? Oh, really? I'm very <laughs> good, yeah. But no, we love it. Is this such? A, we started doing it in lockdown for a laugh, and then when we came out of lockdown, everyone was like, "I love your TikTok dances." And at the time, I'd written a sitcom. No one mentioned that. <laughs> so, I was like, so yeah, we just ended up doing a few dances. So do you think you're following her footsteps and going to Strictly? Maybe is that knocking? Oh, I don't know. But do you know what? I think I've, I'd be probably more a jungle person than a Strictly person. Do you think? Oh. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You want to eat things rather than I... dance on them. I think I'd rather do anything than dance for looking at my dance. <laughs> 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 um, so um, you're actually working with Laura yeah. so on the podcast. Yeah, we've got a true crime podcast, me and Denise oh. talk about We're literally... <laughs> Denise takes the last night, like, have you watched this thing? So me, basically, me and Laura, we had that... You know, as a couple, you do that thing every night where you sort of basically look at Netflix for an hour, yeah. disagree, yeah. and then go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> so we... True crime just became this sort of thing that we really got into. We love, like, whether it's, like, a dramatised version or, like, actual true crime docs and stuff, and it became a thing we really cared about. And we always wanted to do something together. So we worked together in the past, but we never saw each other when we worked on, like, Love Island and things like that. So then we ended up just getting to go into a room together and chatting about true crime. And it's quite nice, I guess, because a lot of couples do podcasts, but they might talk about... Themselves and their relationship. Who's yeah. taking the bins out or whatever. <laughs> Whereas we're talking about who put the leg in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I wanted to ask about, you know, we talked about social media, mm. but you also said that you kind of questioned yourself, like, yeah. like Actually, what am I doing here? Yeah. Do you, do you have do you have that conflict at all? Yeah, I do. F it's sort of weird, like especially with stand up as well. There's this new like phenomenon with stand up where people sort of are saying obsessed with watching stand up clips and saying whether or not they find it funny. Which obviously, in the grand scheme of things, that is ultimately the comedian's job is to be funny. But you, as a comedian, you've got to do what you think's funny. Well, it's subjective, isn't it? And you fun. can't. Everyone can't find something funny. But you yeah. get these people online like, that's not funny. And I'm like, it's a free thing that you can just ignore. Yeah. You don't so have to angry. watch it. Thank though. you. Yeah. Oh, and also, if you like yeah. something, you can just say, oh, I really like that thing. And like, comedy is such a subjective thing. So this sort of like barometer of like, I think what love I. What social media is now is like commodita commoditized like everything. And now everything's about getting likes. Is something liked rather yeah. than is it good or is yeah, it informative? Exactly right. yeah. It's more like can something be liked by as many people as possible? Yeah. And for me personally, like my stand up is. I want people... Obviously, I need people to like it because I've got to buy, like, nappies and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I've got to do what 
I like. But it's yeah, interesting I... you say that because even in the acting profession, it's trickling into that thing of sometimes it's not that the person is the best for the job, it's how many Instagram followers yeah. have they got. And especially with young actors yeah. coming up, it's almost like despite how good or bad they are, it's, are they going to get lots of attention on... You know. Yeah, and it's also, you don't want to become like, I really don't want to become one of these like old people about it because also I think people that have garnered like Instagram and that, what I found trying to get into that world is like, it's really hard. Yeah. Like, I can't, I can barely cook dinner myself. These people <laughs> cook dinner and then film it and make like yeah. a television programme. Yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, if you make a roast, if I make a roast, I, I remember, I'm a millennial. Do you remember when you used to just do smashed avocado on toast yeah. and you take a photo of it? you put a little filter over the front of it, people thought you were a genius. Mm. <laughs> now you've got to do Instagram reels and you do that thing where your hand goes over the top it's and the so chips true. are just all cut up. <laughs> 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 and then you do, you do all of that to the camera that? and it's all... <laughs> I've got no makeup on, I've got makeup on! <laughs> I have to ask you... Just me. put your makeup on! <laughs> no one needs to know you've put makeup on! <laughs> oh, it's so true. I have to ask you very quickly, we're running out of time as usual, but how was Christmas with your lovely it daughter? Was and... It was amazing. And we had all the family for the first time. I cooked myself. Yay! I was Yay. very proud. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing I will say is that is such a reaction because um, being a dad. The one thing I will say about amazing about being a dad is the, the the bar for being a dad in this country has been set incredibly low. And <laughs> I, if I cook a bit of dinner, everyone's like delighted. Whereas like mums, I feel like you've got to sort of magic the dinner and not even sweat and have perfect hair and yeah, be looking yeah. amazing and tidy up afterwards. And people and your mum will still be like, that's not how we did it. That's in how our <laughs> Whereas, as a dad, I just shot with a burnt turkey and everyone's like, well done, you didn't kill anyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ian, thank you so, so much for joining us today. Your tour kicks off in Northampton on the 20th of March. Yes, tickets for the available relevant now. Tour. Yes, so Ian Sterling, everyone. We'll be there! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.